Welcome in, welcome in. Yep, it is D&D &D time. Also, my camera is a little bit off because I have it in a different spot. Because obviously I moved my desk the other day. So I'm going to be looking at you from the side today. <laughs> I'm going to be side-eyeing you. Yeah, congratulations on the the imaginary first. Since the redeems are always off for D&D. &D. Uh, one of these days I'll find a good way to mix uh, redeems with D&D. &D. But for now, we have to leave them off because they can get in the way because they can't really interact very well while I'm DMing. Uh, but we started a little bit early today so I can actually do a little bit of talk before we actually begin. So I think because I have my D&D &D turret that we're doing now, uh, I'm not going to have a chance to do like the D&D, not D&D &D turret, the VTuber turret. Uh, I'm not going to have a chance to do like the D&D &D comic, really. So... It's something I want to do in the future. We might do it in between this campaign and the next campaign where I do like a little comic uh, to show what happened. Uh, I might just do like a voiceover and we'll do like a little summary and I'll try to draw, I don't know, maybe some basic pictures. Maybe we'll just do stick figures at that point. Maybe that'll be funny because we'll just have something there. <laughs> just, uh, just something. Uh, but I do plan on doing some kind of summary system so that we can have a better way of getting people into the campaign without having to go back and watch like, you know, a thousand hours worth of videos. Anyways, D&D should be starting soon. As usual, we always have like a little bit of a table talk before we get into it as we wait for everyone to show up. And yeah, that's basically it. I also went ahead and ran some ads, so you should have the first hour ad-free, hopefully, for those without a sub. Um, I'll try to... we might try to plan... Oh, look, it banished ads again, which means the ads were still playing. Uh, it's so inconsistent. They ran, like, double the ads. How dare you, Twitch. How dare you. Anyways, I moved all my stuff, so things are going to look a little bit different, sound a little bit different. Hopefully it doesn't sound terrible. Uh, I think a lot of the noise suppression stuff with like the audio filters helps a bit. But I do know the audio quality on this side of the room is worse. At least I can tell it. I don't know if it gets if it comes across on uh, the stream or not. I know it never has been like perfect quality, but it's, I think it's gonna be less quality now. But let me go ahead and join the call here. We've got one person on so far. Hello. Hello. I'm early today. Hello, early. I bought I bought the Hill Divers. I haven't played it yet, but I'm downloading it. I watched yeah. you play it on Grumpy Friday. God, that was terrible. <laughs> actually, Saturday was worse. Actually, I think I can't remember which one was worse. Actually, Saturday or Friday. I had, to re I had to rearrange my entire apartment on Saturday. Why is that? Because I have neighbors that are just annoying on their oh. side of the wall. Oh, I see. Like, I got neighbors below me making noise, and I got neighbors on the side making noise. It's like, okay, I guess I can just <laughs> move my desk away from the wall, and hopefully I don't have to hear them. <laughs> I don't know why. You just, like, because you're supersonic hearing, or you just had the worst luck? I think I just got bad luck, because I think I had that... most people get annoyed by neighbors as well. Yeah, I remember I had that point in time where my neighbors were just hitting the wall <laughs> randomly. But they... it, 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 hel it helps if you know what they're doing, but if you have no idea what they're doing, you just think it's senseless noise. Yeah, you're like, why are you hitting the wall? <laughs> also, I really, I... I really hope my downstairs neighbor can hear me right now, but it's really getting tiring. Waking up at 3 a.m. to hear them screaming from sex. Like, Jesus uh, Christ, fucking chill. It's not that great. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that great. Yeah, uh, they're fucking screaming for like 10 minutes and they go take a shower. Literally every day at fucking 2 to 3 a.m. That's what. I'm kind of glad I'm at my, like, a. Uh one level yeah I, I, i'd love to find like a one level apartment like no i want like yeah. the side one too i want like only one neighbor 
<laughs> yeah. Hello. 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 Welcome. Welcome. Speaking of Helldivers, by the way, I've had so many people tell me they have Helldivers, I've yet to play any, any with any of them. <laughs> yeah. I just got it, so... I know, but I've heard like 10 people by now tell me they got Helldivers. I've yet to play with any of them except for Kyo, and even then they couldn't really play. <laughs> Why couldn't they play? Because uh, their PC kept crashing. Uh. Yeah, I ran into a uh, video game like a week or so before Helldivers came out, I ran into a uh, video game slump where I just didn't want to play any video games at all. Understand. I'm, try I'm trying to get back into that, and I just started up Baldur's Gate on tactical, so I checked it. Look, lad, anytime I'm playing Helldivers, just just ask. <laughs> I mean, I gotta know that you're playing Helldivers. Does Steam say you're playing Helldivers? Or no, one? I have mine hidden. No. Well, I have no idea if you're playing Helldivers or not. <laughs> oh, hello. If I'm playing it, I'm usually hello. streaming it, so my Discord will say I am. Oh. Yeah, goes. Hello. Hell divers. There's the other hell diver. Has it? Have they fixed the servers yet? They've been fixed it's forever. Really... Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I've been fixed for like two weeks. Week. Yeah. I haven't uh, really played much in the last week, so I didn't really follow. You're, you're um, letting the uh, you're letting the bad guys win, huh? Yeah. You're, <laughs> not, doing, you're not doing your part for democracy. <laughs> yeah, so, it is, so it is overall like a like a persistent situation. Yeah. They yeah, even have, like, cool. someone's job, apparently, is to, like, monitor the situation yeah, and Yeah, there's, like, harder. a war DM, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> which is which is cool. Which is... Uh, he has, I want like, that control job. of... Yeah. The... What's this for? Then, then you could unleash... Oh, it's um, uh, Helldivers. Oh. So, so, like, I guess the flashpoints or, or the, like, situation in the conflict is persistent for everyone. Yeah, there's, like... Somebody who has control over where the bugs and, then, and yeah, robots attack, like, as well as like the missions and whatnot oh. that you can do. So there you go, Joe. If you need to unleash the the Dark Souls DM, apply for that job. I would love it. Yeah, I'll do it as like a second job. Like just yeah. have that on one screen while I'm work at work, just like destroying people on one side, <laughs> helping people on the other. <laughs> I'm sure it's a lot about a lot of data that they look at. And I saw a couple of TikToks where it, like I just got Joeled and it's like oh, that's an entire Joel. yeah Joel. <laughs> that's funny. And it's just like an entire squad enemy just spawn on top of them, like not even drop oh, ship, they just spawn on top of them. Amazing. <laughs> that's great. I do still want to pick it up. It's bad timing with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, but I'm gonna buy that. Yeah. I'm probably gonna buy that when it's discounted because I already have who, who a bunch of other that? Final Fantasy games to play through. Who needs free time? <laughs> uh oh. No, not more mic issues. If I mic. sound weird, it's just because I'm outside smoking. Oh I no, you, yeah, you sound weird. <laughs> and, I, and I can't be pushed to talk while I'm outside, so. Yep, that's fair. Why, you got neighbors screaming? No, it's because I'm not at my computer. Oh, um, right. Anybody seen Doom this weekend? Nope. I believe it was a game out not. being a fan of Doom. Yeah, it, I just I saw it today and it was it was really good. I I really like the first one. I never seen the original and I don't like the Star Wars movies. But for some reason the first Doom I was like, this is amazing. I don't know I don't know why. It what does uh, Star Wars have to do with it. Yeah. What the uh, hell? Like, Star Wars is based off of Doom. I mean I think Hero's Journey is a trope that they both leveraged for sure. Like, no, I mean, like, like. Dune has a first... lot more politics. Hot yeah, Dune is way. Yeah. Wait, are you sure? That Star Wars seems like it's only politics. <laughs> Star Wars is like, no. Star no, Wars is just else. incest. Yeah. George Dune George like Lucas. George yeah. Lucas has admitted that Star Wars came from Dune. Like, the Force is it, just it, spice. It, 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 and well, Shailud is the space worm that eats Boba Fett. Right, and that's fine, but like Star oh, yeah. Wars and politics is like well, that's what, language. I'm surprised. I'm surprised I like Dune since I didn't like Star Wars, and that's kind of like a, um, eh, Denny, you know, I mean, they're different enough. Yeah. Yeah. 
but the second one was really good. There's a lot more action, but it's still paced the same yeah. way as the first one. I, and I love the pacing of it. That was, I mean, and if you read, if you read or read the book, like the first half I, of the book, it's is very slow. Yeah, yeah. I, I started reading it, but I haven't gotten to like the cool parts yet. Yeah, uh, cool it's great. Parts in Dune. Book. There's cool parts in book. Dune. What you talking about? I mean, it's oh, long. Don't get me wrong. I, I have, yeah, yeah. I have the original six. Now, if you want some books to read, you should start oh, reading uh, the Horus Heresy. Oh yeah, the Warhammer Dan Abnett. <laughs> yeah, I picked up book one because I went to the local Warhammer store. I was just looking around. I looked at the front page because I was like, "Is this the first one?" And it just showed me like twenty books in like the series. I'm like, oh, yeah, fuck. it's a whole, it's like a <laughs> saga now. That series is um, huge. If you want to read Dune, I think you can get away with reading just maybe the first one or the first three because they do I've start to get three. really weird. Yeah, yeah, I, I haven't, I, I've gotten through most of the first one, uh, almost halfway through, but I'm not excited about because I know it takes a real religious sort of turn. Yeah, I mean, he is essentially the messiah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but hey, I love the Matrix, and that's kind of. I mean, yeah. <laughs> whenever I play Civilization or any game that requires me to create my uh, own religion, Peter Jesus, I, I do uh, Muad'Dib, so it's nice. the religion of Muad'Dib. <laughs> Nice. That's awesome. Good. <laughs> I do want right. to do that. We all ready? Oh, yeah. We talk nerdy stuff all day, so. Yeah, um, this is the yeah. fastest. Uh, we've actually been ready to do a summary. <laughs> now, has anyone done the summary? <laughs> if not, yeah, to the count of three. One. It was pretty short. It was largely combat. Two. I'll do it. Two and a half. Um, <laughs> essentially, it was just combat. Um, after a bunch of wild magic surges, the previous session, um, Bosch was uh, shrunk down to size, and several giant skeletons uh, spawned in. Uh, thankfully, Aster uh, dispelled the magic uh, that would made Bosch small, so we uh, weren't were able to, to to fight well. I think we really nailed all of the skeletons. Like they didn't give us too much trouble. Um, we did have a bunch more wild magic surges during combat uh, that summoned a couple of um, elementals. I think one was was one a minor elemental, and then one was like a proper major elemental. Yep. Yeah. Water um, one was a minor. And a yeah. Elemental earth. Yeah. Um, so we, you know, that helped uh, that helped sway the battle in our favor, thankfully. And then eventually we regrouped. Um, Trinket and Alril met up with us at the um, taxidermy hut. We assume it's the taxidermy hut. That's what we're calling it. Um, Trinket kind of knocks on the door and, and says, uh, hey, I'm the king. Give us the taxidermy stuff. And it's like really suspicious. And he asks them to explain what it is because uh, it smells disgusting. It weighed like 100 pounds. Um, but instead of answering, they opened the door, attacked us. Uh, there was a bunch of them in the hut. Uh, I think we managed to kill one uh, before they slammed the door on our face. So Trinket and Aster, uh, I think, set fire to the door. With a combination of spells um, to, to open it. And then we'll, by the time we got it opened, um, the building was empty. But there was a tunnel um, that Trinket found under one of the crates. Um, but since it ended up going down into water whether it was like a sewer system or just the um the bog uh we declined to investigate so instead uh we headed back um to trinket's palace and uh, we're planning on what to do with the hag and i think our goal or our game plan is um trinket's gonna go distract the hag with aster uh, while well, um, Alril, Azine, and uh, Bashek are going to investigate this mirror in the hallway in case it's a portal to uh, one of the other Feywild realms. All right, sounds good. I already got my dice organized for today, so I assume you guys attack the hag. Hmm. <laughs> She might be getting attacked. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. 
A straight arrow. Be before we go and uh, do this, well, can please remind Trinket what you want him to do? So... You just want I me to distract her, or are we going to kill her? Well, I think we wanted we wanted Trinket. Trinket, if you could, please. Um, we need to get to the other Feywild realms, and I think our two options were try to position ourselves as people who can get things done, um, and maybe we either... I think you were going to tell her stories about how you have a love-hate relationship with your brother, um, in order to see if she likes or dislikes her sisters, so that we know which angle to take on... Oh. Send, oh. Us, send, send, us, send us to the other Feywild realms, either to help your sister or kill your sister, depending on how she feels about them. And then we'll investigate the mirror in the meantime. Azine better get ready to do some uh, Arcana checks. <laughs> Detect <All right. laughs> We could also ask her like about traveling to the. You could ask her about yeah. traveling to the mirror. Yeah. And how to do it, maybe, or if she can do it for us. Yeah. I just offer up that information. And itself. you're turning. And you're turning in the. Uh, you're turning in the. Taxidermy. Taxidermy. Stuff. Yeah. So that's your like in is bringing the taxidermy stuff and then. Um, so we want to go to out, just deciding whether or not how we approach the next part. With her. We wanted to go to Hither, right? I think Hither or th uh, no, we're in Hither. I think. Oh, are we in Hither? Hither, uh, Hither, <laughs> under, and I think we need to go to Thither or Yawn. Yawn, that's what. Thither or Yawn. Okay. Yeah. And our main goal, I, I think, is uh, find. Finding Zimbilna. Finding out more about Zimbilna. Zimbilna. Yeah. Zimbilna and... Yeah, which uh, these hags may or may not know about. Gathering information on the sisters. Finding Zimbilna. Yeah, personally, I think Boshek is starting to feel like he wants to save the Feywild from the hags. I don't we know can just kill just all the hags and the hero, but... Yeah, yeah, exactly. We yeah, don't know how strong probably... this one is either, like if we can take her or not. Well, she made me vomit, so, you know. So remember when we faced the, to get the taxidermy stuff, we had to fight skeletons and stuff, so maybe mm -hmm. tell her that. <laughs> Unless she doesn't care. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it's fine. We're uh, great warriors. I'm ready. Okay. okay. And we've had a rest, like a full rest. Yeah. yeah. Aster, be ready to turn into a cow. Cow. Ooh. <laughs> you know, just in case. Need an emergency, emergency milking. Never know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yes, we'll ever be. Drag you on over. Drag me over, baby. Should be able to find yourself somewhere in there towards the bottom. To the bottom. Started. If I do this, you should just go straight there. Yeah. Yep. 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 Can see. Yeah. I can see. All right. So you guys make your way basically back up the side of the uh, of the lake. We're, we're going to skip the part where you you know have to walk over there. Um. You guys make your way up the ladder, back into the the cottage here. Uh, you don't see Bavlorna here, and you also don't see the corpse anymore from your uh, your old friend there. And there appears to be no one here to greet you. Alright, you guys wait here. Astro and I will go and look. Okay. Do you want us to wait in the main floor before we decide to go up and look at the mirror? There's a mirror in here. Oh, was it in here as well? Oh, yeah, there is the mirror. There's a mirror here. right here. Right on. Mm -hmm. That seems way more likely to be a, a, a portal mirror than the one in the hallway upstairs. 
So sh okay. Should we just like investigate the mayor now while we're here? Yeah, but I think we need uh, to go on like the street, well, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll wait a few minutes and then maybe ask or use your mind ring to signal us. Oh, I can do that. Yeah. yeah let's go cool. drink it. Don't fight her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you get into trouble, if she starts fighting you, also just let us know. We'll be up uh, here real fast. Say it. Yeah, just tell us via your mind ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it'll be fine. Hello? <laughs> Wait, where was he? I mean, she. They? Upstairs. 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 Hello? Yeah. All right, so you two are going upstairs then? Yeah. King Trinket is here. <laughs> All right, That's so you guys go up the stairs. Oops, dropped you off into the middle of nowhere. Ah! Oh. You best. I know I used to check magic on us the first time over here. Right. Why can you... <laughs> Oh you yeah, you did, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. I could use a ritual identify. Sure. At least I think I can. Since everything in here is oh. magic, yeah, it was a little. A bit better. The whole thing uh -huh. just glows. There's a little delay. Are you are you casting it or are you doing using a ritual? It ritual? All right, ritual so eleven minutes identify. to go. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's the noise I make. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, identify. You know, just go uh, big money, no whammies for 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> exactly. All right, so you guys go up there, and as you guys are approaching the door, you just hear, Come in! Oh, Astro, you need to go and introduce me, you know? Ah, uh, okay. Uh, hello, uh, Presenting his royal highness, the feathery darkness, the the killer of things and the stealer of stuff. I present you, Trinket. The king. Yo! <laughs> Y'all ready for this? <laughs> well done, Master. That was very good. Uh, thank you. I I just kind of had to make it up as I went. As, can, can you write that down? Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Uh, killer of things. Did you bring my items? Yeah. I think so. I got them right here. I, I, I go back out into the hallway and I, I drag in this big box. Just... Uh, uh, here you go. It's right there. Can Aster even lift 100 pounds? And probably change into something that does. Can you push? Can you push a hundred pounds? <laughs> well, you know, you know, I had to lift them up how, the stairs. How 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 big? How much is a hundred? Like how much? How strong do I have to be to get a hundred pounds? What's your strength? I won't talk about. It. <laughs> is it eight? Nine. Is it nine? <laughs> nine. Mine is also nine. I mean, you could do it. It'd just be a struggle. <laughs> I think I think that would make it even funnier to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Like out of breath, sweating him. Yeah, sorry, he's working on his strength, you know, building muscle. Very good. Well, you've done me three tasks. Yeah, man. Look, we're neighbors, and neighbors care for each other. With this, I consider your debt forgiven. Thank you. Unless you'd like to make another trade. Um, you are the stealer of things, correct? Oh, yeah, man. Well, I have it's something true. that needs stolen. <gasps> From who? I require Scabatha's portrait. Oh, who's that? My sister. Oh, where does she go? She is in thither. 
Hmm. And what would the trade, uh, you know, require? What do you ask? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Give me a moment. <laughs> Astro. Yeah? Come. Coming. Lead the way, my liege. I will follow you. Yeah, come out here. And I walk ahead. I walk out first, because I'm, you know. Yeah. All right. So, what should we ask for? Uh, I don't know. I'm not really good at making well, these kind of decisions. Maybe, maybe we can get some seed money for our business. You know? I mean, yeah, possibly. Uh, right? We don't need to ask for transport. We're already going to go to the place we want to go. Yeah, but is she going to, like, charge us for our souls or something? Or take our eyes? You know, that one vendor was really weird. I wanted, like, our vision and... No, I think... I. I... I think she wants us to go and steal that thing. And we need to go to that place. So, like, she's going to send us there. And now we get to tell her what we want in return. You know, I could ask her for, like, um... Hmm. Like, uh, like, like five questions or something, you know? Like, I need to learn more about this kingdom. Like, why are the kings always getting killed? I mean, isn't it just because they're dumb? I mean, maybe. I mean, I, I don't think the, the hags really care too much about the, the goblins and shit. Or not the goblins, the... the, the Bullywogs. Bully hey, man, those are my people. Yeah. Alright, okay. Get in here! Get in here. Get in. Right here. Come on. Okay. All right. My apologies. My foolish servant was giving me bad advice. Have you figured out what you desire? Yes. Is it me? Uh, Do I desire you? That was the question. Hmm. I think that was an option. <laughs> can, I, can I roll? Like, did we get a full picture of her? Oh yeah, you got a full picture oh, of her. Yeah. Yeah, oh she's yeah, a, she's, she's, a, she's, she's hideous. She's, she's hideous. hideous. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. The answer is no. I, I mean, you could roll to see how attracted you are to her. But, you know. I can show it again. Hard behavior. Yeah, show it again. Hey, look at them legs. You know what? It's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tell her not to look at you straight in the eyes. You're fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm sure they have, like, a paper bag or something. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she ha she is a hag. She can probably cast powerful magic to disguise herself. She could yeah, probably be true. completely different, yeah? She could be your ideal well, ideal woman. Hmm. Could you be my ideal woman? <laughs> oh, you flatter me. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, I'm just saying, if the offer's on the table, Trinket is willing to listen. <laughs> well, if that's what you wish, then uh, what would retain in you being his woman? Like, what would he get out of it? He would get to serve me for his entire life. Uh, yeah, that's not how I see it. It would be a deep honor. But I don't want to just be your bitch.
I mean, I would rather rule as equals, you know? But you do not possess powerful magic, such as I. But I could. I it's control such a this entire realm. I like to steal stuff. So? Let me go steal some stuff so I can get super strong like you. I will consider you a potential candidate and equal if you perform this task. All right, deal. She oh, can is, I... she spits in her hand and offers you her hand. Oh, and um, yeah, I need to give them some like money or something. So can we throw in some cash here too? You can steal anything from my sister. Uh, I think they want something a little bit more upfront, you know? She has money. Oh, baby. I'm talking about you. <laughs> well, you have to finish the trade if you want something. You already got a peek. And drink it light. Give me a spit in my a, hand and <laughs> you gotta give me a deal. deception check for that one. <laughs> Where's my <Yes>. deception check? <laughs> I'm trying to roll, it won't roll. Watch the internet have a fucking outage again. It's so, Jesus, there. it's so deceptive, it's secret. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 25. Mine was, oh. mine was delayed, too. Yeah. It was delayed for everyone. Yeah. 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 Alright, 25, that is more than enough. She is uh, unaware. Uh, and you solidify your agreement. And she says, you have... I believe... Eight days to obtain this item why eight that's how long it takes and because i don't want you running off for all i know you're gonna run off and charm my sister i would never she is nowhere near as powerful as you Trinket is a very smart bird. I can see that. So, just to be clear, you need us to steal a portrait of your sister. That is correct. Does this portrait have any identifiable features? You know, like, is it a fancy frame? You can find this portrait of Scavatha in a circular room in the heart of her home loom lurch. It's alongside portraits of our other sisters, myself, Endelin, and Tasha. Is there anything special about these portraits that we should be wary of? You best not to break them. Like any of them? Or just any this of one? them? All right. No breaking. And to reach thither, there's a small scarecrow. In downfall, do you know of him? I think he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, that's a shame. Well, in that play, in that case, I will have to send one of my lornlings with you, and they will escort you through the fog. Okay. In a tiny version of a uh, Bavlorna. Kind of just appears from 
in like a dress and just kind of comes over. It's like a one tenth scale of her. Oh, it looks just like you. The two big bug eyes just look at you. All right. And it starts climbing up your uh, your cloak to sit on your shoulder. All right, let's go. And while this was happening, uh, you guys were downstairs doing some detection. Yeah. Um, aye, 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 aye. Uh. How long, depending on how long they were upstairs, I probably like would have started pacing back and forth. Half out of impatience and half out of like worry and concern. Yep. So the 11 minutes basically go by. Uh, they're probably about halfway through their current uh, status now. Okay. Um, yeah. But, Ethan, you find out more about this uh, uh -huh. mirror here. So you find out that this is a magic mirror. It uh, acts as a portal. And that by touching the reflective surface of the mirror while speaking the command word would transport you to another location. I tell the rest of the group that. That if I touch the mirror and I know the command word, it can transport us. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, new mission for you, I think, is finding out what that command word is. Because mm -hmm. we may need, if it goes badly upstairs, we may need that word so that we can get ourselves out of here. I want to fly over and touch the mirror and say, Bavlorna, does that do anything? <laughs> Bavlorna. Bavlorna. Her name. <laughs> Silence is concerned. What did you what did you do? I flew over to the mirror and said the witch's name. Nothing happens. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. We should definitely try and find out what that command word is though. Is it written anywhere on the mirror? Should have like a little post-it note next to the mirror. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't see any. Well, do you want to start looking around down here? Maybe it's somewhere. Yeah. I I have a feeling it's probably something that she keeps pretty close to the chest. Um. One thing we trinket might find out. Maybe maybe when. Maybe it's something we can try and, and learn. At some point. I think I think we should put that as a goal for ourselves that we need to learn that command word. All right, is that all you guys do with your time? Uh, yeah, I'll start pacing back and forth, and like the my loop of pacing brings me closer and closer to the stairs because I'm getting close to going upstairs. I'm gonna be next to you because I don't want to be next to the mannequins for fear of the hat. <laughs> <laughs> um, it'll get you when you least expect it. I have to <laughs> I've completely forgotten that the hat is a thing. <laughs> he won't forget you. He will not. <laughs> All right. Did Trinket and Astra have anything more they wanted to talk to Bavorno about? Oh, uh, tell me about your sister. Like, what is she like? What should we expect? What does she look like? Do you have a picture of her so we can find that portrait easier? Oh, that's good. 
If I had her picture, I wouldn't need you to go retrieve it. Oh. Does she look like you? No, you're nothing alike. She's not nearly as beautiful as I. Oh, man. She <laughs> sounds like a real pig. <laughs> she is. I know. That's what makes it so funny. All right. Any other questions, Esther? I don't think so. Okay. All right. I'll be back in uh, before eight days. Make sure you do. Okay. Bye. It's very important. Why? Because you'll be cursed. Ah, uh, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of curse? What's yeah. it do? You would like to find out? Simply the just, eight days. I don't want to find out. I just want to know what it does. <laughs> do we turn into one of these tiny guys? Maybe. Is it like a gotcha punk curse? You'll find out. But hopefully it won't. Yeah, I'd rather not find out. Will you tell us afterwards? Sure. All right, I can live with that. Let's go. Okay. I'll follow you out the door. Man, she's so nice. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm trying different commands on the mirror. <laughs> Reflect <laughs> us. Oh. <laughs> Traverse. <laughs> Fake cross. <laughs> Portal um. <laughs> Doom. Hey guys, we're back. Hey. Hey. So that took a while. What happened? Things oh, went well. well, yeah, we got a deal. Wait, really? Well, we're out of here? Yeah. You can see there's what? a little uh, tiny one tenth version Mavlorna sitting on Trinket's shoulder. Okay, so two. We'll get to your little friend. Um, what's the catch for us getting out of here? Oh, we just gotta steal something for her from her sister. Okay. It's just uh, her portrait. Why? Because she wanted it? It doesn't matter. I have a feeling nothing she does is without purpose. I think you should but, watch your mouth, bro. But okay. Uh, what is that monstrosity on your shoulder? Oh, yeah, <laughs> this, is, this is like a tiny version of her. Yeah, Say I hello. know. It makes me physically ill. That is so mean. How does it not make you physically ill? I think you don't see what Bavlorna really is. That was, that is okay. Uh, a disgusting hag? Why would you say this? Don't speak of my beloved this way. You know, she can probably uh, hear and see everything. Why uh, did he call her it. his beloved? <laughs> well, I mean, I think she can probably see and hear everything that comes out of this, this little dude. So, um, this little guy is supposed to escort us through the fog. Yeah. Okay, but why did he say my beloved? Oh, yeah, and we have eight days. Because... He wants to woo her. Okay. Yeah, your brother's got some weird tastes. You got some issues. I personally bro. wouldn't like anybody here, you know? You got some real issues, bro. Okay. Okay, so... Hey, you guys think of marriage as something different as Trinket, all right? Trinket sees this as value. Most powerful witch? Come on, man. I get to let's be just, like a ruler equal to her. This is good. This. Let's just reduce this to the basic, the base level. 
we're getting out of here and going to the other realm, right? That's yeah, that's correct. Okay, I guess we achieved something. Yep. And also might see a disgusting marriage. Okay. Uh, yeah, possibly. I think Trinket might thinking. be the new Wait, ruler of the Feywild. Yeah, man. I'm gonna start writing my speech. Don't you worry. I got you. What is this? What is this? Uh, what is your name? Little, <laughs> little hag. Me, Bavlorna. <laughs> That's at least what Trinket calls her. Say hello. It doesn't say anything. It just looks at him. I'm gonna pick up its arm and wave. <laughs> I'm a, I'll wave Hello. <laughs> the weirdest thing. I've ever okay. Seen. <laughs> Hello. Trin Trinket is losing his mind in the Feywild. <laughs> you are you're already losing it at the the carnival. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think it might be lost. He didn't want to smile and dance at the carnival, but he will marry a hag. Yeah, you got the heart for the hag. Huh? <laughs> the heart wants what the heart wants. I just see the opportunity as good, cool, that's all. Well, where do we. How, how do we get out of here, Trinket? Mm -hmm. Okay. She's been walking to the fog. Wait, the fog oh, that is. everyone gets lost in? Yeah, this guy's gonna help us. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, he's that, supposed to, like, that, nav what it's here navigate for. it. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Do we just walk in any direction? Hey, little monster, do we walk in any direction <laughs> of the fog? It just nods. Okay, any direction whatsoever, just walk into the fog and you'll you'll get us to thither, I guess, is where we're going. It holds out its hand. I'm not touching your hand. <laughs> oh, Trinket will. Hello. And then it points at one of the other members of the party. And it, what points, about it them? points at the hand. Somebody else has to hold your hand? Points at your other jump. hand. Oh, jump my hand. Alrol's holding the hand. Yeah. Is that what you're doing? Oh yeah. Are we forming a circle? Okay, oh. I'm holding Alrol's hand, and then someone else can hold my hand because I'm not touching that thing. I'll hold your hand. I love that you said we're forming a circle because I was thinking it was like a Freaky Friday kind of thing, <laughs> like we were yeah. again, about to change minds. <laughs> And that's it's an like option for wild magic. Trinket Trink enters his warlock stage. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is your familiar. <laughs> I got a familiar and a magic blade. I mean, to be fair, you could be a... Your a patron war, could be warlock. a hag yeah. or a warlock. That is a thing. <laughs> well, we'll see what where this goes. <laughs> patron your wife. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just like real life. Are you, are you trying my... to Baldur's Gate three this with uh, what's you know, his face? You to say no, <laughs> Will, Zora. No, the the mage. I forgot his name already. Oh, Gale. Yeah, yeah Gale. Gale. <laughs> I'm gonna cast Find Familiar, Find a and then have it be an owl, <laughs> and then I'm gonna cast Mage Armor too. Yeah, I'll grab hands. Part of the be part of the uh chain okay. circle whatever we're doing wait is this the creature yeah yes okay it so just it just shakes its head and, and goes over to the window and points towards the fog <laughs> <laughs> i yank my hands back <laughs> <laughs> Does our bond get deeper <laughs> I feel like my bond, my confidant, is growing. Is that what you call it? Dump, dump. <laughs> uh, dump. 
All right, somebody hold his hand. It can't be me, apparently. Uh, not me. You oh, get the impression just... it wants you to go to the fog. Yeah, yeah. let's go. And hold okay. hands so we don't lose each other in the fog. Oh, you're so smart, Mini Babylon. Oh, very, very intuitive, Aster. <laughs> very intuitive, Aster. I don't know why Trinket is giving this thing all the credit, but anyway. Ah, uh, yeah, ah, uh, yeah. That is weird shit. <laughs> you guys are so Into mean. The... Why do you never support me? I flashbacks to the almost... betrayal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I support basically everything you do, but marrying the hag is like... Turns to his brother, idea. gives him a potion to drink, and then faints. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I got us out of there alive. I knew what I was doing. You did get us out of there alive. Barely. There. Yeah. Barely is enough. It's true. I mean, you didn't die. All right, so with that, I think we'll take a quick little break, and then I'll prepare okay. the next area for us. Okay. Oh, okay. Into the We're fog in. we go. We didn't fight the hag! Yet. Yet. Oh, <laughs> uh, there's multiple hags out there, so I mean... We didn't fight this hag this time! <laughs> Maybe right. next time we'll make a deal with another hag. BRB. Yeah. <laughs>
I'm back. Hi, back. Who are you? <laughs> Me too. Tis I. Tis I, Dad. <laughs> Your father. <laughs> I'm, I'm also back. I'm here. <laughs> I couldn't be back, so. <laughs> and since you guys have reached thither, after this session, yeah. you guys will get to level up. Ooh. Yay! Ooh. Da, 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 da. Quick, quick, turn around! Get the feather, <laughs> come back, kill the hack! I can't wait, I have such big plans. I don't think I, I really get that. anything as a druid at this level. I think I get a spell. At what level is it? Six. Or. No, we're at seven. Level one. Are we? Uh, are we at seven? I thought seven was. Yeah, there. we're level six now. We're level six oh, okay. now. Don't you have yeah. a, your character sheet? Uh, it's in a different tab. <laughs> okay. From 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 the notes tab. This whole time uh, he's been level five, doing the damage he's been doing. No, you're right. I'm I am level six. I am level six. Okay. Well, anyway, so yes, level seven or a level one multi class. I don't know. It could be a really bad move, but I'm thinking about it. Eh, you know, whatever. There's a bunch of these that we never got to show. Look at like the the handouts. Trying to figure out if they have a handout for this or not. We're coming back here, right, to this realm. Yeah. We survive. Mm, that's true. This is how we get out of out of. The Feywild, isn't they in this realm? Yeah, I think so. Well, I think we might be able to get out from any realm. Oh, yeah. If we don't do this in eight days, we're cursed. All right, let's go. Huh? What's this what? mean thing? <laughs> Say, explain. I mean, I assume it's all of us. We didn't really talk about it, to be honest. Who made the deal? You, you just you heard eight days or curse and thought, yeah, no problem. Uh, here's a hand that you guys never got to see in the last area. No, that came out afterwards. This is King so Dullo. This is the man you murdered to become king. You read it. You, you signed a contract. Well, we saw that. Nice. We saw that. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
This is a different a one. Contract? This is him with Without his friends. The oh. oh. Hey, there wasn't oh, really yeah. a contract. We spit in our hands and shook. All right, so you guys are off into thither. You guys basically find your way over to the the fog nearby, and you make your way out into the fog, holding hands with one another to form a line. Uh, Trinket is in the lead with the tiny Bavorna upon his shoulder, just pointing him in directions to walk. And after some time in the mist, you feel like you've been walking in the mist for like an hour. Uh, you've kind of gone left, you've gone right, you can't keep track of how many times it feels like you've gone in a circle, but eventually the fog begins to disperse in front of you. And you find yourself in a new land. Obviously you can't see all of this, but we'll say for the sake of uh, adventure that you arrive on top of a hill down here and you're able to see the expanse in front of you. Wow. I like this place better. Beautiful. Man, she is going to be probably nicer than Bavonorna. This place seems way nicer. And the little Bavonorna points towards a cave to the left. Uh, oh. Kind of through this mountain here, over in this direction. And kind of point you towards that area. But also, an additional thing here. Uh, you find yourself in a primeval forest. As you guys are taking in the sights around you. A fragrant breeze wafts between the enormous trees, sending motes of pollen dancing into the air. And there's patches of sunlight that kiss the forest floor in the sweet melody of birdsong echoes all around. This place is great. Yeah, I love this place. And within the first uh, five minutes, as you guys begin to walk towards the... Oh, uh, before we move, um, can Tiny Bev Lorna just wait here for us? We don't need her now. Yes. Here. That's, I'm sure we'll need her on the way back. Yeah, just wait here for us. We'll be back with the portrait in like six hours. Is that good with Trinket? Are you okay to stay here, or do you want to come? It just shrugs. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm kind of giving you the opportunity here to make a decision. We appreciate you waiting here for us. It just stares at you with its big eyes. Do you know the way to where we have to find this thing? It uh, nods. Like in agreement? Yeah. Can you lead us there? It nods again. Gosh, I think we should probably take it with us. That way we can get back in time. Yeah. Yeah, man. Okay. We're all right. I'll acquiesce, but I'm keeping my eyes on. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so you do agree to follow it then? Yep. Alright. As you guys kind of make your way through, you're kind of going down this uh, path here, down into the trees and into the forest. And you guys spend about 15 minutes walking, and you actually come across uh, a trail of claw prints and these claw prints catch your attention because of how massive they are uh, you guys are walking and you see these three foot uh spanning from heel to toe claw prints in the the mud of the forest floor 
and it's in the path that you guys are walking. That's not good. Well, at least we're behind it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Although, maybe it's where we need to be. Although we know um, how to get there. Can I do a nature check to see if I recognize what might make these claw prints? You or can. some other check. Okay. Oh, 22. Noise. You kind of have to scratch away at that noggin, but uh, <laughs> after kind of looking over several different sets of these prints, because you kind of keep seeing them as you're walking every yeah. now and then, stopping to look at one of them more in depth, uh, you either are going to be excited or intimidated, depending <laughs> on how you feel. But you find that these appear to be some kind of dragon-like creature. Oh! Hey guys, I think some kind of dragon creature made these claw marks. Oh, yeah. Do you still Whoa. think this is the paradise? Hmm? I don't think we're the apex predators here, guys. Well, just you know, we can eyes on, be eyes, eyes on swivels. Keep 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 your head up. You know, make sure you're looking for dragons to kill us. Oh, don't be such a baby! All right, let's go. Your king demands satisfaction. I don't know. Oh. No. Satisfaction. Um, just, you know, isn't that what the hag is for? To give you satisfaction? Yeah. <laughs> after uh -huh. a couple miles go by, and this is after another, you know, maybe 45 minutes pass. Uh, Actually, guys walk pretty fast, so it's probably even faster than that. Okay. Do the footprints continue, or do they grow in number in any way? Uh, they continue. They don't grow in number. Okay. Uh, but you actually reach a point where they stop, and it looks like at this point, after uh, give me a survival check if you are curious about it. Yeah. Uh, sure. ah. 16. <laughs> Arrow just falls into the mud. <laughs> and I'll, uh, I'll pick uh, wild I'll pick magic. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll pick Al uh, I'll reel up though. <laughs> You got swallowed some bud. <laughs> Alright, give me your D100. <laughs> Is Bash still tiny? No. no. He hasn't been oh, tiny in okay. a long time. Yeah, oh, okay. no, Aster um, dispelled that curse, that magic on me um, right when the fighting started. Gotcha. Fifty. Yeah, Raise my strength somehow. A large banana appears what? on your shoulder for the next minute. <laughs> Which grants you plus I... two to all saving throws and immunity to being moved or knocked prone. What? Nice. Can I grab the banana? So this actually stops you from falling into the mud. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm picturing he stumbled, Whoa. and then a tiny banana appears no, on a his large shoulder. banana. 
Oh, sorry. Oh, and then a large banana appears on his shoulder, and he stops falling. Yep. Nice. <laughs> I attempt to grab the uh, It appears just uh, your hand passes right through it. It's a ghost banana. <laughs> Been blessed by the banana god. <laughs> I don't know what's happening, guys. Uh, I hope we don't encounter any monkeys. Do you feel okay? I feel fine. I feel safe. But I don't know where this large plantain came from. Strange. <laughs> now, man, that's banana. Plantains are different. It's true. I'm not familiar with your vegetation. All right, well, continuing on your <laughs> path here. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, Bachek actually did survival. And yeah. you did get some more additional information. Uh, the, the prints here are deeper than the ones you saw before. And oh. the only thing that you can guess from that is that it took flight. Okay. Which suggests that it can fly. Great. I think it came this far and then started flying, guys. Just in case you want to look in the sky now. Is it daytime here? Uh, let me check. I know the last place was permanent twilight. Hmm. Let's see if it tells me anything here. I'm going to guess daytime. Okay. Daytime unless I read something later on that says otherwise. <laughs> so it would just be making looking in the sky easier. Yeah, so it should be easier to look in the sky than before. <laughs> Although there is the tall trees, which could get in the way. Well, we might be kind of protected by the canopy. We can stay hidden beneath the trees from any drop. Mm -hmm. Sight. Yeah, we should probably try to hide as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Keep a low profile. Yeah, so you guys pass... Uh, a large open cave, but the little Bavorna kind of points you away from it and continues north. Hmm. Shh. Shall we stop and check out this cave? I guess we should just continue on to the cave, but just be cautious. Slow and steady. Yeah. Hey, uh, Trinket, does your little pal have any abilities? I don't know. Why would I know this? You seem largely enamored by it. Hey man, I'm just trying to get along to get along, you know? Okay. I'm just wondering if it, you know, can help us keep an eye on the sky. Yeah, I don't think so. Alright, yeah, you guys keep going then? Yeah. Alright. Another couple hours pass. Um, with it being daytime, uh, potentially for the entire duration. Okay. You have to decide when to stop. But another couple hours go by. Uh, at this point, it probably would have been about five hours since you left. Uh, Hither. Okay. 
Uh, you guys are making pretty good progress. It's not too late in the day. You probably got another couple hours ahead of you. Before you would need to kind of take a break. Um, Boshek, you probably noticed this before the rest of the party. Actually, no. Uh, Azen. Yeah, I don't Person really who can't be happen. surprised. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you get kind of warned by your ion stone that uh, something is emerging from the the forest brush nearby. And uh -oh. you turn and you look and you see a centaur standing there. <clears throat> uh oh. Guys, there's the centaur. <laughs> oh. And he's uh, approaching the party. I'll immediately throw my hands up in a peaceful gesture, bearing no weapon or anything. We peace, peace concern. What a surprise! People that don't immediately try to attack me. Why would we? I have information for you. Yo! Yeah. Oh. That seems odd. That's our favorite currency. Yeah. I'm warning anyone script. that I come across. Oh. So not specifically for us. This realm is fading. Coming I in? suggest that you return to your own world before Prismir disappears entirely. <sighs> We're working on it, buddy. Yeah, relax. We're working on that. The other Did members you know of my own clan galloped away to safety before the mist enveloped Prismir. Oh, this guy is so whiny. Hey, 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 hey. He's giving us information, okay? Any idea what's causing the, uh... Yeah. The mist, uh... Develop all of Prismir? I don't. Darn. Anyways, you've been warned. Well, I mean, it was kind of vague. I'm not going to lie. Uh, you got stuck here on your own? Yes. Are you Are you okay? Are you kind of low? I'm finding my own exit. Is that where you're headed to now? Yes. I mean, we're currently working on finding, you know, finding an exit too, so you're welcome to join us. Nope. Oh, no. He's pretty gorgeous. But... He spots the little Bavlorna on Trinket's shoulder and just goes, I'll make my own way. Yeah, that's a good idea. Get stepping, Bambi. Man, I would take horse friend over weird <laughs> monster on your shoulder 19 <laughs> times out of 19. And he definitely knows his way around here. Yeah, but this little thing can just take us directly to where we're trying to go. Yeah. See? See? I mean, the, the little thing's like a beeline. Astronaut. There's like a, a going back and forth. Okay. I could ride this now. Good luck to you, sir. He just continues on past you. Can can I make a uh uh investigation slash perception slash druid check to see how much of a beast he is to see if he's a beast? Uh, you'd know immediately it wouldn't be considered a beast. Yeah, I don't care then. <laughs> <laughs> He's too humanoid to be a beast. I was hoping I could possibly turn into him, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, is there a druid type that can turn into monstrosities? Mm, no. 
No, there's not. They're their only beasts. He would be considered a monstrosity, I guess. Also, I'd just like to point out the bottom right of the screen. Yeah. yeah. What about it? They always have these arts on the sides that I don't think we ever look at. Oh, okay. Same with the top left. Yeah. Smiling trees, laughing mushrooms. Huh. Oh, yeah, the mushrooms. I was telling one of my friends about these because I was reading ahead. <laughs> Wait till you meet them. All right, so you guys uh, don't probably get too much out of the centaur here because uh, you're on your own quest. You're not planning on leaving at all. Nope. All We're right, well. You do pass by, uh, probably an hour out before you are planning to, to stop, what looks to be a somewhat clearing that's kind of surrounded by mushrooms. Is that a place you'd go towards or is that a place you'd avoid? Uh, it's like a good break spot, right? Yeah, I don't have any reason to suggest we stay away from here. Yeah, should we stay away from here, little man? I mean, aren't they like the one dude, uh, the the guy who gets high on mushrooms? Aren't they hmm. similar to like what he does? Urs Moktok? Urs Moktok, yeah. Maybe Can we can find see. samples for him. Yeah, I can test it and see if it has healing properties, too. Oh, these aren't tiny mushrooms. These are gigantic mushrooms. Oh, okay. These like, taller than you by two or three times. Those are quite large. You guys plan to make camp over there? I mean, I have no reason not to. It seems like a good clearing, a good place to make camp. Curiosity. Been for a while. Curiosity says we should. Yeah, we've been traveling for a while. And Trinket's little friend didn't suggest otherwise, right? I don't know. I asked him. Keep watch though for sure. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's a dragon. We this, should definitely this... like keep an eye out everywhere. Is this actually came to be before I thought it would? <laughs> uh, so you guys kind of approach this area, and you do see in large number of these mushrooms moving around. Oh, okay, maybe we should make camp here. The, the closer <laughs> you get to the area. You hear singing, and it looks like these things are dancing. As you begin to draw closer, this is what they look like. Oh, see? You should totally oh, check these out. Cute. Are you guys kidding? Look at that thing. It's <laughs> awful. <laughs> Wait, this is awful? Seeing you guys approach, um... A bistre. They look over at you, continuing their smiles and using body language that kind of uh, uh, sign for you to come join in their reverie. Are they? Um, nope. Are they? Wh what are they doing? They're like dancing. Yeah, they're just dancing and singing in the in the circle here. This seems much like... better than that swamp we were just in. Seems much um, better, but I don't think you can get stuck in here. Okay. I wanna, like... I'm gonna dance at him a little bit. 
not excessively. I just want to do a little like, like, hello, I'm greeting you with a dance. Sorry, I didn't get that. Could you do that again? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to, to do a little sing, a little song? Yeah, a little, a, little, a little, little sing song dance. Give me a performance check. Yeah, I know. This is going to be really great. Just you wait. Oh, hey. There you go. Uh, as <laughs> minus one on performance. <laughs> as you begin to kind of dance around and do your little singing, mm. uh, you actually see that the the mushrooms here begin to mimic your song and dance. Oh. Wait, are they like stealing it? Are they friendly? No, they just appear to be doing the same thing that you're doing. They look very happy that they've learned something new. You gifted them something. <gasps> my, the one time my toxic personality has come through. And you my... have been blessed with a charm oh, of heroism. <laughs> what? <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. <laughs> I was, it's all I, fun and games until they try to eat you I'm trying to figure out how I like describe this I feel powerful huh. uh, the charm gives you a one time action to Bestow yourself the same benefits as a potion of heroism. Okay. Nice. And a potion of heroism does the following. Let's put it into the chat. Sure. I've had a potion of heroism once. For one hour after drinking it, you gain 10 temporary hit points. It lasts for an hour. You are under the effect of the blessed spell. No concentration required. Oh, sweet. That's awesome. Nice. Okay, these guys are great. This this is a really perfect place to make to make camp, in my opinion. They seem nice. Yeah. Maybe you should do a little jig or a dance or tell them a story or something. Arrow immediately jumps up and dances. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, that was perception. Damn it. It's gonna say, roll again. Yeah. My yeah. performance is, has a better, has a better yeah. plus. That's my bad. Yeah. Wrong team. You uh, jump you... up and aggressively stir at them with your. Yeah. <laughs> oh. you, you don't get the same benefit, but they do look excited that you're joining in. Guys, he's lying. This doesn't do anything. Do better. See, see, you're not, you're just not doing it right. See, what you need to do is you need to do it like this. I'm gonna start staring up to the sky and cast guidance on myself, and then performance. Uh -huh. uh, that's not gonna be that good. Uh, they also look excited for you to join in. Uh, fifteen total. Yep, they're also excited to see you join in. See, see, this is how you do it. I mean, they're not attacking. It's not so bad. Get in here, trinket. Dance away. I don't feel powerful at all. No. I feel like a fool. Okay, so should we make camp here, or be wary of the mist? Um, I wonder if we could communicate with them in any way. Hey, um, would it be okay if we slept here and I'm gonna like, we like gestured us sleep like. You know, two head, two hands by your head, eyes closed, and then I'll point like in this area. 
Uh, they continue singing and dancing the same song that you were doing, but uh, some of them, like, nod. I think we can stay here. Uh... Do you want me to cast the tiny hut? Oh, yeah, sure. As long as it doesn't, like, disrupt them. Should we camp, like, beneath one of them? I start doing the ritual for the tiny hut. Yeah, these things are large creatures. Okay. Large you're, you're not looking down world. at them, you're looking up at them. Yeah, large. <laughs> So they're enormous but friendly. Actually, sorry, I'm looking at the centaur. Let me double check. Okay, never mind. These ones are tiny. We're good. Okay. These are tiny. Okay. So yes, you're looking tiny. a lot farther down. <laughs> tiny, friendly little mushrooms. Oh, okay. Yay! I was looking at the oh, centaur the block. Alright, so you guys basically uh, bed down for the night? Yeah, I think so. We should probably keep an eye out, even though we're in the tent. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Who knows what's going to happen in this section of the Feywild. Yeah. I'll pull for the first shift of watch duty. Okay. Alright. Uh, you guys have a peaceful rest. Yeah, Nothing yeah. really comes to disturb you. You do hear in the night large yells and like bellows coming from distant skies. But nothing really comes towards you guys. Okay. I cast the uh, mage armor, and uh, while you sleep, uh, when we wake up. Oh, okay. <laughs> are we? Are we? Are we up? Yeah. At this point, you guys are awake. That'd be um, a, cool, a cool little. Piece, the the little mushrooms that were dancing and playing are gone. But also, oh. the three of you that danced uh, awakened to find yourselves uh, seeing more clearly. Um, oh. You were left with an additional gift by the, the mushrooms. And that is, uh, for the next 24 hours, you have uh, true seeing. Oh, oh shit. I regret nothing. <laughs> see clearly now yeah the fog is gone yeah same oh this is fun so those of you that don't know true seeing uh gives you the ability to see things as they truly are so if you have uh you basically get true sight so if there's a right. secret door hidden by magic you just see the door uh, you can also see into the ethereal plane, out to a range of 120 feet. Um, I'm gonna look straight at Trinket. I'm gonna what look is at that mini, mini goblin. Yeah, what is the goblin, <laughs> the mini goblin on his shoulder looking like? Looks just like normal. Okay. Fine, Rob. Cool. You do see like small floating. Uh, pixies and various other tiny creatures oh. occasionally in like the corners of your sight. Oh, are we aware? Oh, no. Are we aware that that's what's happening, or is this just all of a sudden? I uh, know you just guys woke up and you're starting to see things a little differently, and some of you probably point them out, and the others like I don't see it. 
Guys, there's pixies everywhere. Oh. What? Oh. It's not quite everywhere, but occasionally you just see one, like, at a distance and it, you know, pops out of vision. Yeah. It's creepy. Like, got some eye boogies. You guys continue on your journey? Oh, yeah. Yep. Emboldened by our friendly night with the mushrooms. Yeah. Cool little you dudes. Feel powerful. You're right. They just had a good vibe as soon as we got here, you know? What do the mushrooms look like? Are they still dancing? No, they left. Oh. Yeah. I'm glad we should them kindness. I mean, when you see someone dancing, I feel like you just gotta dance back, even though if you're a bad dancer like I am. Alright, you guys continue on your way? Yeah. Yep. So Aizen's basically correct. That's about how far you guys have, have wandered at this point. Oh shit! You're making good time! Ah! And... You guys once again continue on your way. Uh, this time around, as you guys are wandering, within the first hour you spot, uh, nailed to a tree is a poster. And on that poster, it looks like this. Uh, you find it says the following. Uh, it has a picture of what looks to be like a young boy. Uh, and it's drawn in ink. And then do any of you speak or read Elvish? Yes! Yeah. I do. Okay. I do. Then you'd be able to read Wanted Will of the Feywild. And in addition, it says Deliver this rascal alive and unharmed as payment. I offer you the power to bring the dead back to life. Uh huh. And it's signed, Granny Nightshade. Well, all right. I definitely relay that to anybody who can't speak out. Sure. Yeah, I what was that? Say it again? Trinket does not understand. Apparently there's a little bandit boy, and if whoever put this poster is offering a reward. A little bandit boy? I don't know. Well, Will of the Feywild, and it's a wanted poster. I guess I'm jumping to conclusions. But... What is a Will of the Feywild? Uh, oh, like the police? His name might be Will. Yeah, that's, that's my read on it. This seems like a wanted poster, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, like more, maybe like a bounty. Yeah. And the reward is the ability to bring someone back from the dead. Meh. This this person must be worth it to somebody. Wait, so you guys are entertaining this offer from somebody offering you the gift to bring someone back from the dead? But you think Bavlorna is bad news? Well, this will may have some crucial information or may know something that this person wants them bad enough to resurrect somebody for. I don't know. And maybe, like, if we ever end up going back to Strixhaven, I... We can just be on the lookout while we're heading out from home. Bring Mina back. Alright, 
flag on the plane here, everyone. No. <laughs> this is a terrible plan. And as king, Thricket says no. Hey, buddy, you're only <laughs> king of the bullywugs. Are you royalty? Are you? Yes. Here? I am beloved by the people. I mean, you scared that centaur off. I mean, okay, you're not wrong. Someone offering the ability to bring someone back from the dead is probably a bad news. But maybe this Will person could be an interesting person to speak to. You must that's, know how, that's how it all starts. The rationalizing. That's how it all begins. I mean, I'm not saying I'm going to turn the, the person in. Maybe he knows something. He might be able to help us. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm thinking he may be an asset. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We could leverage that. All right. I mean, if we come across it in our travels, I mean... Yeah. Alright, we're too little one. Onward. Uh, so you... are pointed, like, pretty much following this river, pretty much, as you guys... Kind of wrap your way through this um, forest here. I'm just curious. Is this hole on this rock, is that like an entrance to something? Or is that just a hole through it that sunlight is coming through? Um, well, you'd have to go examine oh. it further. Oh, damn, I'm just so curious. <laughs> <laughs> is that the way that we're heading, though, is up up? Yeah, pretty much in that okay. direction. Up oh, this, this way, okay. Uh, after another couple hours of travel, you guys spot what looks to be a campfire coming up around one of the bends in the forest. And you can hear this cauldron of water bubbling over the flames. And there's a frying pan on it as like this very... Uh, savory smell kind of comes over to you guys and you spot another camp vestry which is these little mushroom guys mm. do we see them as anything else or is that just how they look that is just how they look and this little guy okay. is sat next to the frying pan and is dipping his uh, little cap into the butter <laughs> he wants to eat himself. Oh, buddy, what are you doing? And you can hear him scream every time he does it. Hey, uh, hey. He's a masochist. Why are you doing that? Don't, don't hurt yourself. Told to. By who? Ah! He dips Who's his uh, cap into the butter again. Okay, I'm gonna uh -oh. grab him. Hey, can we tell you to stop? Crow Ah will be back soon. Who's? <laughs> they promised right, hot bath go. before dinner. Let it go. He's clearly meant to be eaten. Um, <laughs> I'm going to. I'm He's going to do something. Very unfightery. Um, I want to take the uh, frying pan off the cauldron and put it on a rock nearby him. And I want to cast press the digitation to chill the butter inside it. All right. Uh, first of all, give me a constitution saving throw as you take eight burning damage. Yeah, I'm Ooh. sure the frying pan is hot. Yeah. Wait, I have gloves on though. Uh, 18. Yeah, you're fine. Okay, but I take 8 burning damage. Okay, damn, that was hot. Whew! Spicy. Uh, yeah, and then I'll put it on the ground and, uh, chill. Chill the, uh, 
the boiling butter inside. Now I won't get hot bath. No, I know, because it's hurting you, buddy. I was told to put hot butter on my cap and I get a hot bath later. I mean, don't you think the hot bath is probably just boiling water in a stew cooking you? That sounds like a really bad idea. But bath. You need a bath? You can hear steps approaching Azen as you are alerted by your island mm -hmm. stone. Uh oh, guys, somebody's coming. I'm Do you guys really want to fight somebody over a mushroom? <laughs> He's hurting himself for no reason. Alright, Bash, I'm gonna give this one to you. <laughs> your weird obsession with these shrooms, man. They're cute! <laughs> Uh, as you guys are shouting at each other, uh, a goblin <laughs> comes out of the trail. He says, What are you doing to my dinner? Told you. <laughs> <laughs> there. He was cooking himself alive, man. Like, if you're gonna eat him at least kill him in a humane way and then cook him yourself don't be lazy about it what he enjoys buttering himself he <laughs> was screaming in pain but did, did he, he stop did he no. stop he was compelled to do what he was doing so i don't think he had a choice oh well, yeah his last three brothers did the same thing what, they all got baths that. after yes. buttering themselves? They all got a warm bath, and then they went nice. back to go see their family. Is the warm bath stew? Are you making stew with these mushrooms? Well, I don't know if I'd call it stew. But you're cooked. No, they go back home. Well, why do you have them Uh, I'm inside. Butter themselves. This, this, this goblin, please, and thank you. I'll join you on the insight check, just because I want to know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Aster, you definitely know that he's... You actually, like, spot him kind of pointing at his stomach when he says home. <laughs> <laughs> and I would be looking at Aster here because I don't know if I'm allowed to just fight this goblin for no reason. Yeah, he's but... totally going to eat him. All right, buddy. All right. Is this... Goblin, by any chance, wearing any kind of armor or anything? Uh, nothing complex. It's just, like, uh, some simple leathers. Damn. Okay. Aren't you a goblin? I was hoping it <laughs> was is. metal. Yeah, yeah all, goblins, <laughs> all goblins deserve death. None of them are nice. Can I... Can I, I might have done goblins. May I? Ask her? Oh, yeah. Yeah, feel free. Okie doke. If you didn't, I was. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm gonna attack this goblin. What? Why? Uh, as you're reaching for your bow, he's gonna be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> if you want my dinner, you can have it. What I want is for you to stop making mushrooms cook themselves alive for your dinner. Would you I rather understand. eat candy? No. I got. I understand. You got to eat dinner, and sometimes here you want candy, and he gives you a, a. He throws like a stick of candy onto the ground. Don't take it. Uh, it's a trap. Oh, I am so not disrespectful. touching that. I am not touching that. But kill if you gotta eat these mushrooms, kill them first yourself, and then cook them yourself. That's all. <laughs> Don't make them kill themselves alive for your enjoyment and food kill him because if you do, do you do you know that... where you're at this is the I fey wild really uh-huh you know how many of these mushrooms are out there uh-huh do you know what they can I had do a very nice uh they are super chill and cool dudes who dance very, very good dancers the answer is they have no idea you you won't be happy if uh you breathe their spores I knew it! 
I knew it. Trinket knew it. Yeah, maybe they won't spore me because I'm not a jerk to them. Hey, he willingly buttered himself. He said he I'm gonna himself. look. I'm gonna crouch down next to this mushroom and be like, "Did you <laughs> willingly do this?" It just it nods its head, smiling. Why? It's, it said you told them to. <laughs> Why did you do it? And the it's okay. You can tell the truth. The goblin can't hurt you because if he does, I'll just hurt him back. It's okay. I was told I get a hot bath. Yeah. Okay. So we oh, went yeah, over this. Bro. The hot bath is just him cooking you to eat you. No, he said hot bath. Well, no. See, you see how there there are two goblins. You know, the one that told you what to do, what you're doing, and then my friend here. Yeah, he's totally gonna eat you. Yeah. See. But do I get the hot bath? No, it's not a bath. It's not a bath. I mean, it is. It's we can give him. A, we can give you a warm bath. Do you want me to butter myself? It is a boiling, searing uh -huh. cauldron of pain, and then you will die and be eaten. We can press the station some water into the pot, just warm him up. I can. Yeah. Alright, little friend. Yeah. It's time to make more mushrooms. The goblin calls out. And you see the other, the little mushroom begin to, it looks like it's uh, kind of shaking a bit. Oh god, is it going to explode? Uh -oh. I'm going to step back when I see I need this. each of you around the mushroom to make a uh, wisdom saving throw. What's close? Because Trunkit's not really involved in this. Uh... It'd probably be Aster and Vashik. Okay, 15. Uh, wisdom save? Yep. Uh, wisdom save. 20. Alright, you both breathe in lots of spores that uh, are emitted from this little mushroom. And you can feel yourselves, like, kind of losing the ability to move, but then kind of shake it off. Okay. Yep. That's good enough for me. Step. Yep, I'm gonna step back. Uh, you see? Okay. This guy just tried to. Parallel. You see? I'm yeah. gonna attack this goblin. Told you. Yeah, I'm gonna moonfire him. No! No! <laughs> 19 to hit the goblin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I did a third level moonfire, so. He's immediately dead. <laughs> he gets smited by light. You guys are so mean. The only good goblin is a dead goblin. <laughs> I'm gonna high five Aster. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Your hands smack, but there's no air feeling. I'm gonna go loot the goblin. <laughs> uh, you find three sticks of candy on him. A small knife uh, and two pouches of butter. Ooh, that's a good find. Yeah, it is. My you guys are gone. terrible. Uh huh. That was fun. Oh, and an explorer's pack. Oh, what's that do? Uh, it's the same that you could find, like the. The player's guide for an explorer's pack. Okay. It's just like rope and a tinder box and shit. Yeah. That's cool. I'll add it to my bag of holding. Yep, so it has a backpack, bedroll, mess kit, tinder box, ten torches, ten days rations, a water skin, and fifty feet of hemp and rope. Nice. I mean he had uh, a couple of trick it. That's a threat! He was torturing this. He was torturing this. You robot. don't know how to cook those things. Maybe that's how you have to cook them. And then he tried to get us poisoned by the mushroom. He was showing you how dangerous they were, and he was not wrong. He there could have shown us from afar. He could have done that. Would you have listened? It looks at um, Aster and Bosch, and yeah. says, you're going to be parents. 
Oh. You're gonna be mommies. <laughs> well, alrighty. Yeah, he infected you guys. <laughs> you raped um, me. Um. <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all got anyone got like revivify? Anyone know that spell? Uh. No. no. Okay. Remove curse. Cleanse poison. Ooh. Aster, you must have some kind of. Uh, would lesser restoration play? work? Yeah, lesser restoration. That, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, would that work? Mm, I, I, it's not I, quite a disease. Is it a poison? It's not a poison either. It sounds like a disease. <laughs> mm. An STD. You'd probably need some type of antifungal. Hot water? Okay. Hot boiling water? <laughs> With butter? That would just be giving you a hot bath. I'll take a hot bath if it gets this off me. I don't care if it takes damage. <laughs> I mean, drinking like hot water. How much? How much? How many hit points do I have to sacrifice to get rid of this fungal infection? <laughs> it, it's essentially it. Yeah. I don't know. You have to find out. Just you tell me, and I'll 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 roll it. Whatever I need to do. I wanted to help this mushroom, not make more of them. The the little mushroom just uh, starts to climb Bashik's leg. Uh -huh. Listen, you can hang out here, buddy. Just no more spores, okay? It's just gonna hold on to your pack. All right, that's cool. And then it goes to sleep inside of it. Perfect. Uh -huh. Come along, little man. Should we raid his camp? See if he has anything here we're taking? Is there any, like, boxes or anything? I mean, I could have inadvertently poisoned you. <laughs> mm, I don't know. Uh, I mean, the only thing you see around was the cauldron, the frying pan, and uh, the stick of candy on the ground. What's with this candy? Oh, uh, so it looks just be like a, a stick with some hard candy on it. Mm. Kind of like rock I'm gonna candy. Eat a piece. I'm gonna eat a piece of candy. Does it cure my spores? <laughs> uh, not to your I knowledge. Mean, I mean, the goblin had candy on him, so, you know... Who knows? Hey, wait, does it? It was talking to us. Hey, I'm gonna like kind of crane my head over my like shoulder. You got a, you got a name? Stu. Stu. <laughs> great right. name. That is great. <laughs> That's incredible. Stu, mu Stu the, Stu the little mushroom. All right, we're gonna be fast friends. I like that both Trinket and Bajek have acquired a shoulder friend <laughs> in this set. <laughs> you know, mine hasn't impregnated me to my knowledge. Uh, yeah. so, so that is a big difference. That you know of, yeah. That you know of, yeah. <laughs> Yours is probably inherently more sinister. <laughs> Before Bashik has a hundred small mushroom children. <laughs> this is a weird adventure. <laughs> you're, like, you're like, you're like, hey, little mushroom, let me teach you about consent. 
<laughs> All right. All right. As you guys begin to <laughs> travel again, I assume. Tell me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A uh, couple hours go by as you guys continue on your little trek. Uh, Boshek and Aster, give me constitution check or saves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Twelve. Twelve is twelve. <laughs> we both uh, suck. You guys can just spot like little mushrooms growing out of different parts of your skin. What? Oh. <laughs> What are you going to name them? <laughs> Ricasy. Casserole. <laughs> Casserole. <laughs> uh, I would like to solve this fungal infection. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you would. I'm going to cast Druidcraft and if light would. all of the uh, mushrooms on fire. If On you? Out of me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just burn them off. We'll <laughs> burn them off. Yeah, so you take... Uh, roll a d10. Five. You take five fire damage, but uh, you kind of singe off each of these gross that you find. Yeah, me, me next, please. Okay, I do the same thing. Yep, yeah, troll for damage again. Yep. D10, where there you go. Live? Okay, thank you. Yep, perfect. Cheers. And yep. as you guys continue on this little journey, you start to approach a very large, gigantic gnarled oak tree that comes into view and unlike the other oaks in the forest this tree looks unhealthy and has golden brown leaves there's a thick carpet of dead leaves that surrounds it and three rusty sickles lie among the leaves standing next to each of these weapons is a bleating goat there's also eight tiny houses made of woven twigs that are nestled among the boughs of the tree. And you can see squirrels darting nervously around these wee domiciles. There was a lot. Those of you with, with true sing mm -hmm. yeah. can see... Two dozen pixies watching you guys arrive. Mm -hmm. Some of them kind of looking out from their houses. Some of them amongst the, the branches of the tree. Some of them are just flying next to you. Um, those of you that can see them uh, obviously can see them. And those that don't have true sane cannot. Cool. So there were fairies. Oh, this is different. Did you guys, you guys see these pixies, right? Yep. Oh, no, I, see. I do not. Oh, they're they're, they're right here. How do you not see them? There's like two dozen of them. Yeah. There's one there and there and there and there and there and there. And I start pointing at the pixies. And there and also there and over there. They're in, they're Maybe it has little... something to do with your your mushroom babies or something. I can't see them. I'm not pregnant. No, there were only two of us that got affected by that disease. Oh. You're not pregnant that you know of. Oh, no. Hmm. Well, we didn't dance with them yesterday. You guys didn't. There's a bunch of pixies around. These mushrooms have incredible powers. Um... Just be cautious. Yeah, there are oh. lots of pixies around, and this tree is their home. One of the, one of the pixies uh, sees that you can see it, and kind of flies in front of your face, uh, Bashik. Okay. It Hello says, there. Don't attack the goats. Okay. I wasn't going to really attack anything. 
And don't is attack your... our homes. Yeah, is your is your is your tree okay? It looks very unhealthy. He's dying. Can't you save him? No. Riveting. Just just no? <laughs> Not unless the hag is defeated. Oh hell yeah. I mean, we're kind of on our way to deal with that hag. We sure are. Now yeah. you're speaking my language. So the hag is evil and it's making your tree sick and it's killing the pixies and, and ruining their home? Yes, the hag is killing the tree. Cool. We're going to take down this hag. Well, guys, the hag's killing this tree. Guys, it's giving up the, the will to live. Um, Wait, don't give up the will to live. The tree gave up the will to live. Oh, okay. Okay. Maybe yeah, you should do. Is... Do you? Can you talk to the tree? Can you not talk to the tree? No. As you talk Maybe. to me? No, I don't. Well, I can't. Maybe I've never tried. Uh, so, so two of you just see uh, Boshak just talking to himself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. I'm like, I mean, okay. Does the tree speak common? Although Trees I speak understand druidic. all words. Oh, there you go, Aster. Maybe you can let it know that we're going to work on the bag problem. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to communicate in common and sign language druidic to the tree. <laughs> We're going to go take care of the hag. Can you speak? Do you understand common? Can you talk common? Any tips on dealing with the hag? You're asking that to the tree? Yes. You just feel a gentle breeze. What'd you say to it? Before. Say what? What'd you say to it? Oh, I told you what I said to it. Oh, I thought you were just saying. No, I was, spe I was speaking oh, wow. in common and signing druidic. Oh, oh, oh okay. Why'd you have no idea? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You just witness as more leaves kind of fall off of the tree, drifting to the ground. Oh, well, this thing's actively dying in front of us. The three goats are continuing to scream. Yeah, the also the reason... leave the goats alone. Don't touch the goats. Is the hag for the reason, or the hag the reason the goats are doing so poorly? I asked the pixie. No, the goats. We we transformed them. You transformed them? What were they before goats? They're red caps. Oh, yeah, they deserve to be transformed. Would you be willing to deal with them? No. Just leave them goats. That's better for them. They won't Are be they... a threat if you take their sickles away. Can you? Can they stay as goats forever, or will they eventually transform back? In a short period of time, they'll turn back. Oh. Uh, I, can you, I'm just going to go take their minute? sickles. Yeah, you grab those. Can you give us a minute? I'm going to like bring the other guys over so you can't hear this. I promise you I'm not crazy. We are talking, <laughs> we are talking to the pixies <laughs> who live here. All right. And those goats over there are uh, transformed uh, red caps. <laughs> Who, th who are threatening the pixie village and she asked us if we would help deal with them and i think we should what does deal with them mean like kill, kill, the, them? kill the red caps yeah kill the goats yeah, yeah. yeah. i assume once we attack them they'll probably transform back or something because she warned us not to attack them yes yeah, so we should probably kill uh, them off one at a time yeah uh, as you are talking and aster's gathering up the sickles I 
So three goats are going to start attacking Aster. <laughs> oh. Okay, well... Alright, so uh, one at a time, alright guys? One goat Ooh, at a time. Of, uh, so... Yeah, yeah. The, the three goats each got over a 20 to hit against Aster. Son of oh. a bitch! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> as long as we focus on one. That is yep. 13 <laughs> bludgeoning damage. Total? Total. Okay. Oh, that's... Not as bad as it could have been. Um, I'll, go, I'll go back to the pixie and say, um, we'll deal with the red caps. We may need your help with something later um, when we deal with this hag. But uh, in the meantime, we'll deal with this with these red caps. The, the pixie I... thanks you. Did I collect all the sickles? You what? did. And now they're going to Is there anything you again. special about them? Oh. <laughs> I'm going to. Um... That's a net 20. That's a net S C Y. S I C K. S I C K E L. Yeah, S I C K E L. It's like a, a sickle that you would use, like a one handed sickle that you'd use for, like. Uh, I was. Farming. I kept thinking scythe, and I like just couldn't figure out sickle. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> how, do do, how do I do sickle? <laughs> You take Same. 12 bludgeoning damage again as they continue like, to ram you. Like pickle. A sickle. Right. <laughs> Are we able to see this? Are we all... Yeah, you're witnessing oh, yeah. Aster getting absolutely uh, beat down by these... I'm trying to help him out. Goats. Yeah, I am yeah. in wild shape. <laughs> Before anybody does anything, I am in wild shape at this point. After yeah, I gathered I'll, up... Uh, to a goat? <laughs> no, I ain't that dumb. <laughs> oh. You want to do goat v three goat? <laughs> I need help. Uh, go be uh, go. Are they on the outskirts of like the little village? I'm just gonna be a giant constrictor stake. No, they're kind of just in front of the tree. Remember, one at oh, a time. Okay. <laughs> time to kill the goat. All right, roll initiative then. I can't imagine this will take very long. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is regular goats. I mean, currently. Well, they'll, well they'll, for now. Yeah, probably, yeah. Uh, I'm going to delete all these and just add them again. Uh, Bashik, you got a 13. Yeah. Asen got a 6. Arrow got 2. Aster has a six. Yep. Trinket has a twelve. Alright, and as for the goat, we're just gonna use this icon for now. There's no need to go to a battle map for this one. Okay. It's not that complex. Yeah, it makes sense. We'll just roll initiative here. Wow, the enemy always has a bad initiative. All right, Bashek, you're first. There are three okay. goats currently. I was going to use these um, to represent them. All right, sounds good. Attack my target, and then I'll attack this one. The left one. Yep, go for it. Nat 20. <laughs> Let's go. <Nice. laughs> Obliterate that shit. They do okay. take uh, rollover damage. After the okay. polymorph drops from the oh, attack. Perfect. So 17 plus uh, 5. So Goat only has 10 health. So, 22? Yeah, yep. correct. Yeah. All right, it takes 12 additional damage. Yep, and then if it's still up, I'll attack it again. Uh, it turns back into a red cap. Uh, obviously, it doesn't have its sickle. Mm -hmm. And it's just going to shout at you, you motherfucking piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> you little foul. Give me back there. my sickle. No. And then take another arrow in the face. Uh, 16 to hit. 
Uh, 16 is a hit. Okay. And that's going to be 12 more damage. It is still ready to fight. Okay. Get that one. Oh, you know what? Forget it. Action surge. Whatever. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> no. A red cap is a goblin, so... 15 to hit? Uh, 15 is a hit. Okay. 14 damage. It is still up, but it looks pretty woozy and bloody. Okay. 30 to hit. Obviously and a hit. 16 damage. Yeah. Uh, it is dead. Okay. The other two goats see that, and they start to run away. Kill him! <laughs> oh, yeah. Definitely. Get him! <laughs> Sick him, boys! <laughs> Drink it. <laughs> um, I'm just going to fire my bow. 29 to hit. That's a hit. It turns back into a red cap. I'm guessing they're too far away for the sneak attack, right? Um, that's how you get it. Then 11 damage. And that is my turn. Azen? I would do Fireball. Pew! That's a hit. 12 damage. This one's singed and bloody, but it is still alive. And I'll chase after it. Alright, Aster. I'm gonna bite the one that's damaged. What'd you turn into? A giant constrictor snake. It has 12 <laughs> AC and 60 health. <laughs> it's the thing that has the most health out of everything, so. All right. Let's go. 20 plus 7 to hit, so 23 to hit. That's a hit. D8 plus 5. 13 so damage. 13 damage. It's almost dead. Or wait, no, sorry. I did the constrict ability. I rolled the wrong damage and shit. So the target is grappled. DC is 16. Uh, strength or con or? Uh, I think it's strength. Uh, let me check its plus. It passes. Okay. Well, escape DC is 16. Oh, so it has to do that in its turn, right? Yeah. Okay. So it's like it's just, I constrict it, and then its escape DC is 16. Until this grapple ends, this creature is restrained, and the snake can't constrict another target. All right. Like so bite it. Anything else? Is it? All right. The goat is going to start to run away. Uh, the guy that's constricted is going to try to break out, and he breaks out easily. And starts to run away. Which gives you an attack of opportunity if you so choose. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. Mm -hmm. The bite is 20 plus 7 to hit. Oh. Wow, that's <laughs> pathetic. <laughs> Roll D100. 79. 79. Uh, as you're trying to bite this red cap, your eyes are just filled with illusory butterflies and flower petals that flutter in the air, uh, obstructing your vision. Mm, butterflies. Oh, wait, I'm a snake. <laughs> That's it. And this continues after your attack. <laughs> uh, the other goat gets about uh, 60 feet away. Alro. 
Okay, so I will, since I have two of these, I'm going to go ahead and cast Eldritch Blast if you're, I'm assuming this is the weak one. That yep, that fighting. one's okay. really hurt, he's only 30 feet away, the other goat is 60 feet away. Okay, so I'll, I'll go ahead and shoot this first blast at the closest, closest goblin. Yikes. That's a miss. You yeah, got one more good. blast. Yep, I'm just going to go for him again. That's a hit. That kills it. Do you use the rest of your effect to just yeet the body? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just be, be real disrespectful to the corpse. Yeah. It dies. You just hear it ragdoll another 15 feet. Arms flailing. <laughs> Um, and then I will uh, I will start to just chase, run towards uh, the other goat. I got 30 feet, so he'll be 30 feet from me. All right, Bashik. Yeah. Um, I'm going to attack the one that is fleeing. Da, 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 da. I think we can go ahead and simplify this. Uh, Bashik, <laughs> Trinket, Azen, Aster are all going to give chase. And between the four of you, I, I assume that enough attacks are gonna land that you're able yeah. to unpolymorph him and quickly end his life. That red cap is toast. <laughs> so he also gets chased oh. down and is defeated. And some of you can hear it, some of you cannot, but there's uh, two dozen pixies that are all cheering. Uh, pixies are yeah, good. <laughs> Sure they are. Pixies are happy. Sure. Hey, I'm gonna look at I'm gonna look at one of the pixies, the one that was talking to us. Be like, could you just like show yourself for one second to these guys? They don't believe you exist, and they think we're crazy. Give me a persuasion. Sure. Oh, for fuck's sake! Really? Okay. <laughs> Minus one, baby. Ooh, sixteen. <laughs> as well i suppose so just just for like a second just just so that they know you're you're here uh one of the pixies the one that was asking you and asking you guys questions and talking to you uh uh makes yourself visible holy crap told you she's a beauty thank you thank you very much this is my name we're happy is to help zinnia hello zinnia Zinnia. It's very nice to meet you, Zinnia. Amazing. That's Trinket. King Trinket. That's Trinket. Hoochie <laughs> <laughs> <Uchi> Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Keep in mind, she's only like four to six inches tall. <laughs> she is tiny. Can barely see her. <laughs> Become a pixie. Become four to six inches tall and there you can live happily ever after. <laughs> I mean, stick around here long enough and the wild magic will eventually turn you into a pixie too, as we've learned, so. Yeah. This place is just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> Since you helped us, I'm also going to give you some extra information since you're on your way to the witch. Okay. The red cap started appearing when Granny Nightshade took over the forest. Like their creator, the, the red caps appear to have no redeeming qualities. Oh, look at that. Look how quick you guys were to try and go and bring that poor child to her. Do you know of anything of oh, Will shame. of the Feywild? What? Have you seen a boy or heard of a boy? Will of the Feywild? I've heard of him. Do you know why he may be wanted? I heard someone's helping children escape the hag. Well, that sounds like a good thing, huh? 
Yep. And I wanted to meet the boy, not necessarily take him to her. Well, I think he could help. Yeah, he could be a great ally. Do you want to know more? Absolutely. Well, the hag yes, grows please. the red caps in her garden. Ew, weird. Which is inside a large fallen tree that spans a ravine. Okay. You hear That's one of the weird. pixies shout, I think it's north. And another one says, no, it's south. <laughs> and another one says, I thought it was to the west. Are there any just... other identifying landmarks nearby to that, to her lair? I think there's trees. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, in, a, in a ravine? You know, if she goes, yeah, I mean, a ravine is helpful. We might be able to find a ravine and follow it. Um, do you know if she goes by another name by any chance? Scabatha? I don't know her. Okay. But is Granny Nightshade a hag? I think so. Okay. Ooh. I'm sure it's a safe assumption, but just in case. Seems like someone we might want to have a little conversation with at some point, though. Yeah. Yeah. We should probably go north if there's nothing else these pixies can help us with. What's the place that we need to find? It's called Loom, oh, Loom Search. Um... Ah, maybe, maybe they have some antifungal. Ah, <gasps> oh, that's a good idea. Hey, uh, since we helped you, is there anything you can do to help us with these uh, fungus drooms that we uh, breathed in? We could probably help. Oh, that would be so that'd, great. Yeah, yeah, that'd be that'd be amazing. Uh, some of the pixies fly out and kind of circle you. Uh, and Bashek, uh sprinkling dust on you. And then both of you let out a gigantic sneeze. And this <laughs> cloud of spores kind of uh, <laughs> exits your bodies. Amazing. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. If you defeat the hag, you should stop back over here and we can give you a gift. Ooh. That sounds good. Well, guys, we gotta get a portrait. We gotta defeat the hag, stop back here, get a gift, and then go back to the other place. Seems sounds like a win-win. Win. Yep. Win. Yeah. It's okay, drink it. You, get a, you still get to be king. Yay! I mean, you'll be king of, like, a hag-free land. Wouldn't that be so much better? Mm, I don't know. The Valorna could be quite useful, you know? Yeah. Maybe. But I feel like she's always going to have some ulterior or twisted motive. All right, I take it you guys continue on your way. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Does anyone need a rest? They don't, a rest? They don't have a shop or anything, do they? No. Uh, the pixies, yeah. they don't appear to have anything of interest. You can see okay. them uh, eating tiny cakes and sipping little cups of tea. 
Why don't we just take a, a quick rest and, and patch uh, Aster up? Yeah, I, yeah, I would love that. I'm at 15. That would be amazing. Yeah, we yeah probably should. All right, so you guys take a rest next to this giant tree. Yeah. Oh, yeesh. Oh, why short rest? Hit dice. What are my hit dice? Uh, I'm going to tell you now. The plan is basically that you guys are going to be able to finish your next long rest, and then we'll probably cap it there for tonight. Oh, okay. Would, so, would it be good to just rest here? Yeah, we could just say you rest here for the night. It's in an oh, area yeah. that you guys deem as safe as well. Yeah, the pixies are... are yeah. Level up. And you get to level up. Yeah, yeah. After months. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I told you if you make it made it past the first realm. And to think guys, we could have been if we beelined it, we could have been here like a month ago. <laughs> I think we you, you pretty it, much found every way to not advance. Yep. To we, yeah. We yeah. meander in this house. <laughs> we do. There's a, there's a lot to discover. Well, you killed every everything that took you to the next area. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so your only option was to make a deal. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. I don't mind. I, I like where this is going. I'm surprised oh. Moshik didn't ask them about the the Sealy Court. Oh, the 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 Pixies. Yeah. Oh, sir. Oh, I didn't really think about that. Maybe that's a conversation for when we return triumphant. It's like, hey, can I uh, be a knight? <laughs> I mean, you could ask now. I mean, uh, while well, we're still with the pixies, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like a question for the queen. Yeah, ask oh, ask yeah. about Sir Talavar. Level seven. Wow, level seven. All right, are there any level questions seven. before we wrap up, though? Um, just Whoa. flagging it should be okay, but I am gonna multi class. Um, it is meeting the requirements, so it should be fine. Yep, feel I free actually... to make sure to pay attention to how spellcasting works with multi class. But you guys have already done all this before, so I'm not too worried. Okay, yeah, yeah. I probably actually got a multi class as well. I wanted I'm to not... go pure druid, but found like a really, really good synergy with the monk. <laughs> um, since I'm coming from a, a class that doesn't have any spell slots, I think it's a lot simpler. Yeah, you don't have to like figure out where the mill is. Yeah, which spell <laughs> slots are fueling yeah. which magic. Yeah. Yeah. So, my multi class one point in the monk gives me unarmored defense, which makes my armor ten plus dex mod plus wisdom mod. So my armor so immediately higher. goes up to eighteen, and when wow. I wild, when I go into an animal, my AC becomes whatever it is with the animal form plus five. Nice, because my wisdom mod carries over. There you go. You guys have your official tank. We have yes. a tank. Uh, yes, it was I'm un it was unofficial tank before, now. but now it's official. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> before I was just a. Uh, health sponge. Now I'm actually a tank. <laughs> Everyone's settling into their roles. We got our blasters and our utility wizards and our trinket multi-tool and yeah, and your uh, your sniper rifle. <laughs> <laughs> the fifty cal. Yeah, just sniper wham. Rifle, who's, that thing uh, smithereens taking, now. Um, uh... <laughs> you dead now? Yeah, but now I'm also gonna be able to. Uh do some interesting things like um expeditious retreat like dashing on a bonus action mm. also everyone go ahead and give yourselves inspiration uh good nice. job getting through the hag stuff without mm. even having to to battle the hag yes trinket nailed that conversation i'm very surprised that we didn't battle the hag well it was probably good that i stayed downstairs <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you didn't fight her when uh, you were upstairs before. 
No, but I really wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You took out your pent up aggression on the goblin. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That was days in the making. Just so you know, that guy was non-hostile. He was willing to let the thing go as long as you guys didn't <laughs> kill him. <laughs> yeah. But as, when Aster said there's no such thing as a, all goblins or whatever. Yeah. yeah. All goblins are evil. <laughs> Says the goblin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all goblin, okay, all goblins are bad. I never said I was good. All right, we all good for next week? Yep, sounds good. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. sounds like a plan. All right. See you guys. Catch you See guys you later. later. Bye. All right, that means end of the stream. Uh, I think that was a pretty productive session. Made quite a bit of progress there. Uh, thank you guys for hanging out thank you guys for supporting the D, D campaign uh we're gonna find someone to raid so let me refresh on the side here i got a lot of reading to do next week before next week because there's a whole realm here that i have to get familiar with there might be some things we have to go back and, you know, tweak a little bit because I didn't have it correct. Uh, I didn't have my notes extensively laid out for this one. I did read ahead a bit, but not enough to know it, the ins and outs of Thither. I think we will raid into... Ooh, I see someone playing Elden Ring. We're going to raid into them. Because pretty soon we're going to be going back to Elden Ring. I can't wait for that. Alright. Uh, if anyone's out there, we have our raid message. If not, that's okay as well. I know a lot of people tend to lurk and listen occasionally. But... Thank you guys again. Tomorrow we'll be playing... I don't know. Uh, we might do some some more Helldivers tomorrow, or we might do Rogue Trader. I'll put something out into the Discord to see who would be available to play Helldivers. And then if we don't get uh, any of the team together, then perhaps we'll do Rogue Trader. Because we're making some good progress in Rogue Trader. But uh, good night to everyone. And have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.